November 6th, 1993. Evander Holyfield looks to avenge his loss to Riddick Bowe one year after he surrendered his heavyweight belt to Bowe by dropping a 12-round decision. Holyfield has added 12 pounds to his frame since their first fight. Problem is, Big Daddy is bigger as well. Remember, to this point, only Floyd Patterson and Muhammad Ali have won rematches against fighters who took their heavyweight title. It's Bo Holyfield 2 on Classic Night at the Fights, next. There's lots of spirit and lots of rapping going on as Holyfield makes that long walk. It is a long walk. It, he's not bouncing up and down. He's just leisurely strolling into the ring. I guess he's going to do his bouncing and loosening up when he gets into the ring because he's not sure when Bo's coming out of his dressing room. You think that's a hammer song, Bruce? I would guess so. stint Riddick Bowe has ever gone without fighting, 168 days. It was only 105 between Dokes and Ferguson. So we'll see if that ballooning of weight in between fights and then the subsequent droppage will in any way restrict Riddick and in any way affect his overall endurance. Well, I think he's learned that if you're going to be serious, you can't blow up to 100, 100 pounds over your fighting weight. That, that's too scary. It's too much to come down from, because that will wear your body out. Maybe not in this fight, maybe not in the next fight, but maybe a couple of fights down the road. First stepped into the ring at age 12. Says he'll never forget the hard road he traveled. His mother said, stay out of jail, Riddick. That's the one place I won't visit you. thinking about the job he has to do. He knows he's in for a long battle if he follows the, grand, the game plan. He's going to have to absorb some punishment over these 12 rounds, and he knows it. Riddick Bowe weighed 235 for the first Holyfield fight, then 243 for the next fight against Michael Dokes, 244 against Jesse Ferguson, and tonight 246 in the rematch against Holyfield. The four-time New York Golden Gloves champion who was undefeated as a pro, and now he's into the big 20-foot ring at Caesars Palace. So both fighters are in the ring along with their respective camps at the big outdoor arena at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, scheduled for 12 World Heavyweight Championship, IBF and WBA titles on the line. Jerry Roth, Patricia Morse, Jarman and Chuck Giampa are the judges. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the site where legends are made, Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Twelve rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks with black trim and weighing 217 pounds. This 1984 Olympic medalist has a professional record of 29 and one with 22 KOs. He is a former two-time undisputed world champion in two different divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, from Atlanta, Georgia, the challenger and former heavyweight champion of the world, Evander Heal, Heal, Holy Heal. <laughs> and across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with red trim, and weighing in at 246 pounds. He's also an Olympic medalist 
winning super heavyweight silver in 1988. Since turning professional, his record is a perfect 34 and 0, 29 by knockout victory. And tonight, he defends his title for the third time. Ladies and gentlemen, from Brooklyn, New York, presenting the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Ready? Big Daddy Bo! Okay, now, Eddie, Eddie, I want to tell you, if he goes right here, I'm not going to call it no. It's going to be all right. Fair enough? All right, now, if this, this is for the championship of the world. We've already gone through all the instructions one time. I expect a tough, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions from the challenger? No. Any questions from the champion? Let's get it on. So here we go. Scheduled for 12. IBF, WBA, titles on the line. The world champion, Riddick Big Daddy Bo, and the former world champion, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. I think they're going to go right at it from the opening bell. That, that on my toes and running stuff, I'll believe it when I see it. Bo in the white trunks. Holyfield in the gold trunks. He with the first punch. Way right away. Riddick Bo came out of the corner and landed. Bruce, he's hurt. Bo upstairs with the right, to the body with the right. Big Daddy again goes to the body, and he lands an uppercut to Holyfield's head. Bo, all business, has come out smoking. He's a big man with a big punch, Bruce. It's not fat, it's 246 pounds of power. Trunks are up high. Mills Lane said if Holyfield lands to the top part, it is not a low blow. Now, Evander is outside. If he's going to dance like he says, he has to throw a jab. Just dancing isn't going to win the fight. But he has to get inside. He has to get closer to throw that jab. And then he's going to be hit by Riddick's jab, which is the stronger of the two. Holyfield is yet to score. And now Holyfield goes inside and connects. There's a little of that movement. Bo going over the top with the right hand. Both men bone dry. After all of that, it's still, still dry. And this fight being waged right in the center of that 20-foot ring. Holyfield with the 1-2 combination. Evander's left is just down enough that Riddick can drop a right hand over it if he's fast enough. Whether he can do it or not is another thing. He snuck the jab in. A minute to go, first round. Evander Holyfield is between styles. He's jabbing, he's, he's trying to get his jab off, but all he's doing is bouncing up and down outside. He's not doing anything. Holyfield with a double jab. And that's a good idea to keep Bo at bay. You have to, you have to upset his rhythm just by throwing punches and bunches, not just one, but two. Good counter by Bo. Pretty good action for a first round. Both fighters able to score. But Bo with a little better start. Right off the bat, Bruce.
Faith, faith the jab once in a while and said well, before you throw it. See? Faith, faith a lot. He's a little tight. He'll react. So if you get him tired, then you're going to turn it on and go down the stretch, okay? Okay. All right, you're looking good, fighting Third the perfect round. fight. Vaseline, man. You're... No, he don't need too much. He don't like too much Vaseline. Uh -huh. he, don't, he don't like too much. He don't like too much. The jab, right hand coming up, come back to the left hook. Keep your hands up, he'll start leading with right hands now. Oh. Every time you shoot that right hand roller counter, but you're looking beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Under a clear sky in Las Vegas, Nevada, we head to round three for the World Heavyweight Championship. Riddick Big Daddy Bo against Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Both guys have finally broken a sweat. They got this sweat rolling off their bodies now. So this should be loose. This should be a good round, Bruce, because it, you have to start establishing yourself. The chess match is over. Now who's going to take over at this point? Is it Bo's left followed by the right? Or Evander going inside? And he felt was saying to Bo that he can faint before he throws that jab a little bit. There's a second warning from Lane about Holyfield's head sneaking in there. Tony, what do you think? Two rounds in the books? For Bo. I have one and one. But Holyfield got that one big punch in. That was the best punch of the second round. Not much else went on. Bo to the body. Bo still working everything off that jab. Good right hand by Bo. Quick, too. He's an athlete. There's a jab. Two jabs and Holyfield retreats. One and not much. He can't get inside. He knows as he gets in, it hurts more. That's four straight jabs for the pose then. Jab to the body. Five straight jabs. Evander's hope is to jump in behind one of those jabs. But he would pay a price. Bo trying to unload that heavy right hand. Holy field on the counter. It's just a slapping punch. Another thing about it, Evander, while he's on his toes, he's trying to punch while he's not set. There's no power behind him. The first fight, he was right in Riddick's face, punching and wailing away. Tell you, referee Mills Lane was just letting them fight. They're professionals. They're not going to fight dirty. Bo got upset again. Holyfield landing a combination. Starting to step it up. And Bo is not pleased about it. Coming up at 30 seconds in round three. Very much a chess match. But a powerful one. Bo still has the power of the left there. Evander's balance looks strange. I don't know if he's not because he's not used to fighting on the outside so much. But he's just bouncing up and down. That wastes energy. If you're gonna bounce, throw something. Throw a left. Come in, come out. Now Mills Lane separates the duo. Bo landing a right hand. A little low with the next punch. Now you would hope these guys would pick it up. See, Vander's getting inside and making Bo. Bo was complaining that he got thumbed in the eye on that on that left. Looked like a <laughs> looked like a, a good punch, but I'm not the one getting hit with it. Low blow. It, it's funny. You hit me low, I hit you low. You thumb me, I'm going to do something back to you. That, that uppercut scored by Bo, however. Third title defense for Riddick Bowe. Only at four, 15 championship rounds coming in. 12th championship fight for Holyfield, 94 rounds, 46 of the heavyweight. Significant advantage there in terms of experience for Holyfield. But he doesn't hold the hammer now. Bowe does. Now look, look at Evander. He's, he's, he was up on his toes, not doing anything. Then he comes in. Bowe with a good crouching short left hook. And a little bit of side show by Bo. It's 
no time to start showboating, though. So this, this is business here. The Jabs are landing and finding the range. Holyfield doubling up and scoring. Throw with a low blow. Now good exchange with a part of both fighters. Holyfield with the left hook. Looks like round 10's beginning again a little earlier. Holyfield all of a sudden getting into a little bit of a slight fest, Tommy. He's getting popped, and he's reverting to what he's done from fight one, which is what Bo said would happen. Right hand, Holyfield, elite right, got in there. You're watching Bo starting to chop this guy down. Nice combination. Short, crisp uppercuts again by Riddick Bo. Evander hasn't done enough to be inside with him already. Bo finding the range. Target practice. Bo's trying to... Bo's just trying to smother Evander with punches. Evander's trying to do his best to, to not get hit, but he's walking into some. Watch Holyfield's mouthpiece. He's on the verge of losing it. That mouth is open. Well, he's got one of those trick mouthpieces. I shouldn't call it a trick mouthpiece. There's a hole right in the middle. So he can open his mouth and suck in wind right through it. Both throwing a double jab, and Holyfield trying to counter by throwing a straight right hand. Who wins that battle? If they're going to exchange right hands, if they both land at the same time, it's Riddick's going to win every time. He's just too powerful. Bo with an uppercut and a counter. Another big uppercut by Bo. The balance of, Rit of, of Evander doesn't look that good. He's getting hit, and it's taken him a while to get his balance back. And he's been working on that so diligently with Manny Stewart. When you get popped, which is not what you can do, standing in front of Bo is not the way to go. Ten seconds, round four, Holyfield, two-punch combination. Holyfield, a short uppercut. The bell is sounding, they're still... Where's the ref? Where's the ref? Oh, my. They fought for ten seconds. After the bell was the best action of the night. But it should have been stopped earlier. Opened up some blood. You see the blood. It's a significant spot right on the right eyebrow. You gotta get under those counter If that more. cut came after the bell, we got a problem. I think their heads might have hit right in that little exchange. But the bell is being hit repeatedly. Mills Lane is too far outside. He never heard it. And Manning Stewart runs into the ring. Separates the fighters. Here we go, round number five. There is a look. See if that uh, cut gets any worse for Bo. There is a look of determination on both of these guys. This was a combination. This was a continuation of the fight where they fought after the bell. This time they went about three times longer. So we go to the fifth round, and there is some blood on the nostrils above the nostrils of Bo. Solid jab by Riddick Bo. Looked like Bo got cut on the eyebrow toward the inside of the nose over the left eye. I thought that their heads may have hit yes, yes. after the bell. You saw Riddick pick his head up and smash it. Holyfield double jab. Now the blood is on the top of the nose of Bo. Not in a good spot. It looks like the eyebrow and the lid. Sounds like they're chanting Ali. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Holyfield with a double jab. Bo pops back, landing his jab. It looks like Bo is looking to land one punch instead of doing what Eddie Fletch said. Double up on the jab, throw the right hand after it. Bo 
Holyfield scoring on the inside. Bruce, I feel like I'm in round 13 of the first fight. Holyfield again doubling up. Evander's finding the range with that jab. Why? Because Bo's letting him get inside. He's not jabbing to no, keep him off. Bo is not busy in this round. All of a sudden, he's staring instead of stalking. Holyfield to the midsection. Holyfield scoring upstairs. And while Bo takes a breather, the commander of Ander continues to work. It's a good point, Bruce. Maybe he's just forgetting about this round so his corner can do some more work on the eye. He's got one of the best in the business. Big right hand by Ander. I think Riddick is hurt. Holyfield with a big left hook. Ten seconds to go in the round. And Bo needs a breather. Round five is all Holyfield. You got that right. He punctuates it with a right hand. And Bo looks tired. The man in the corner, Ralph, closed the cut Citro. One of the best. Riddick Bo took the round off and then paid for it at the end of the round by getting nailed by Evander. Watch the punches. They're on the button because Riddick Bowe is not doing anything to keep him off. It's a Good left hook. Look where, he, look where Riddick's keeping his hands. That's how you lose your title. That's how you lose your title. You keep your hands too low and you get an opponent who's going to walk right through you. Bruce, right now, this is Evander Holyfield's fight to win. Riddick, Round number six. Riddick's last off his stool. And Bo is breathing heavy. Holyfield with a solid round in the fifth. Bo got off his stool like he didn't want to be here. And Holyfield in excellent shape, showing plenty of pop in the legs. Tony, how do you have it scored? I have Bo ahead 48-46. I gave the last round a 10-8 round to Evander wow. because I'm, I believe in liberal scoring. He dominated and then poured it on in the last 30 seconds. I don't think many judges will do that, however, because most of the judges will look for a knockdown to score a 10-8. So I have it a one-point lead for Bo. Holyfield continues to be the aggressor, working inside, short uppercut. You have to ask the question now, what's wrong with Riddick's left hand? Why isn't he throwing that jab? Forget about two, three, four. Why is he throwing one? There's the opening to throw the jab. He's not throwing it. Minute 40, round six, Holyfield doubling up with the jab. And a good uppercut, a little bit of a hook by Holyfield. Field, a solid combination, and Evander is finding the range. I'm wondering what's wrong with Riddick. He's got the blood right above the nose and a pretty solid mouse under his left eye. His eyes were swollen from the opening round. You saw the end device being applied at the end of the first round. Solid chopping body blow in forward by Holyfield. Bo doesn't look like he has much zip right now. Not at all. Not at all. He hurt Evander very early in the first round, and then that was it. Bo has had a very quiet fifth and sixth rounds. Holyfield with the right hand. Who would have thought a man weighing 217 could have crisper, more powerful punches 
Third guy at 246, but it is a good one by Riddick. And Bo backs up Holyfield. The big question is when Bo does find the range, and he's landing, can Holy, Holyfield withstand that big, powerful man, that big pressure? You can't afford to find out. Nope, that's, that's why Holyfield's taking the fight to him. And another round for Holyfield. Eighth round. Let's bring the uh, viewers up to date, Tony. How do you have it scored right now? I have it 67 65, Bo. I have Bo ahead four rounds to three, whatever that translates to in terms of figures. Rounds wise, I, I think have it's a it. one point lead for me. For Bo. Holyfield being the aggressor again. Big punch landed there by Bo. These guys have picked up like they never left. Like nothing ever stopped. It's a credit to both of them. Yeah, they, they're trying to get themselves focused. They're trying to realize that even though we had a long disruption, there's still the matter of the heavyweight championship at stake, and we have to take care of business before we find out what happened to what happened in this whole ordeal. Holyfield landing. Good quick uppercut by Holyfield. It's going to be like two different six-round fights. There truly won't be a 12th round where you build and accumulate over time. We were headed to that, too. Uppercut Holyfield. There was a climax that was just building that was taken away by, by this, this guy. Whatever happens now, like you said, it, this, this in a sense is Holyfield Bowl three. It's like a split season in baseball. Strike season. <laughs> Holyfield chopping away to the body. Neither guy has really gotten into a sweat yet. And Bo, plenty of blood on top of his nose. That even that, even that break, even that time period didn't fall. It. Here comes Holyfield. Bruce, I think Riddick knows his wife isn't here. Because of that long delay, with the way it came, you would look over that way to see if your wife is all right. Inside of 30 seconds in round eight. Bo countering. Evander's still sticking to his task, staying outside, trying to get inside behind a dare. Now there's some blood on the face of Holyfield. And again, a late. Charged by Knowles Lane. As round eight comes to a close. Take a look at Bo's cut. Ralph closed the cut. Citro working diligently on that cut. I got it. You gotta have a man to do a job on that. Ralph Citro's the guy. It's in a bad place because it's just going to flow right down his nose. Evander is punching in bunches, three punches, four, five. He knows that once he gets inside, he has to rain punches. He just can't stand one shot. He has to double and triple up. Holyfield's cut was right above his nose on the lower part of the forehead. Round number nine, scheduled for 12, World Heavyweight Championship. Riddick Bowe's title defense for the WBA and IBF crown. Bruce Beck and Tony Page with you from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. The last fight heated up just around this point, but 
with so much excitement already generated, it's going to be hard to make pure comparisons. Bo is stalking Holyfield now. He's, he seems like he has a purpose right now. Those punches are, are slowing Evander down. They're solid shots. Bo looks, looks very focused. Bo landing the right hand. I wonder if somebody said something to him about I his wonder, voice. I he's, wonder. He's got that look in his eye. Let me get this over with. Bo chopping away at Holyfield. Bo is back to the double and tripling up on the dads. Trying to find the range. He can just drop the right and that right uppercut. Straight right landed by Bo. Bo really finding the range in this round. All of a sudden, he just something seemed to light a fire under him. Maybe he realized Judy's not there. Go to the body. Holyfield missing on the counter. This fight right now, this, this, since, since the delay, this fight has taken on a life of its own. This is something different. This is a more determined Riddick Bowe. Riddick Bowe who is trying to pressure this man to get him out of there. It's not a style fight anymore, it's just a slugfest. And that's not what Holyfield wanted. And Holyfield struggling on the inside. He's missing punches now. And Go a little quicker. And Bo showing what he's learned as a youngster, that he would duck under Holyfield's punches over the top. Holyfield walked into a right hand by Bo. And it landed squarely on the noggin. Now Holyfield with a two-punch combination. Boa stepped it up. He didn't have this in the first part of this fight. Holyfield with a left hook. Good uppercut by Holyfield. Holyfield winning the last 30 seconds. Bo hitting after the ball. Round. You can beat him either way, but you got to let the punches go now. Very well, action-filled last slugging, round. Bo seemed to pick it up. Holyfield seemed to let come on at the end. Uh, the game plan seemed to be out the window. This is time to slug and land the punches. Riddick heard him, went after him, used those sledgehammer left hands, the right, just was stalking him, but then Bo couldn't put him away, and Evander came back like he always does with tremendous heart. So we're headed to the 10th round. Three rounds to go. The At least potential. The 10th round and Holyfield Bowl won. This was the round, one of the greatest heavyweight rounds of all time. Bo starts to the body. Both guys are building a sweat again. Bo with some solid combinations. Anthony, how do you have it scored? I got an 86-84 Bo, and I'm going to be on. I have to give myself an asterisk. I, it's hard to concentrate on some of these rounds with what's going on, but I'm trying to give it the best I can. Bo has stepped it up. He's, I don't think he wants it to go to the judges because so much has gone on. He's trying to put, the, put this man away now. Evander is just on the outside, but he's not doing anything yet. He's trying to step it up. I have Bo ahead six rounds to three. Winning every round since the stoppage. Bo Again, the blood is flowing above the bridge of the nose. Bo didn't take this much punishment in the first fight. He had a swollen right eye, but that was from a thumb, and everyone when knew it, and Evander knew it was a thumb. This one, he's cut, he's bruised under the eyes, it's Evander's left and rights are doing the job. But Evander's face doesn't look like the first fight. It's a reversal right now. We had approximately a 21-minute delay. This might go down as the longest fight in heavyweight history. 
Longest 12 rounds. Yeah, you're right, longest. Well, there's been some, some, some 30 round fights in the old days. Let's talk about the contemporary era. Bo landing jet. Bo with a pretty good hook. Holyfield counter it. Minute to go on the 10th. Who seems to be trying to use that left hook somewhere? One thing about Holyfield, people said he might be shot. No way. No, no. No way. He is still a force to be reckoned with in this division. Except for possibly Lennox Lewis, there's nobody else you'd want to see both fighting at this point. Good uppercut by Holyfield. Holyfield landing again, this time with the right hand. trying to battle back. It's just a success now, Bruce. Holyfield with the better of it. The uppercut again landing. His mouthpiece out. Bo's mouthpiece was knocked out. Holyfield dominating the round. Holyfield's left hook is much more crisper than Bo's. Bo's punches mm -hmm. are slower. You don't know this is the distraction of what happened earlier or the give, weight give. loss and the, and, the, and the lack of training over the length of time, the fact he had 168 days lost, uh, off. And don't forget the man he's fighting. He banned the Holyfield. Holyfield has fought an absolute perfect fight for his body. The game plan that Manny Stewart put together for Holyfield, he has followed and it was the right plan. He surprised me. Holyfield got popped a few times early. He did not fall into the trap and try to slug with him. He waited till he got later in the fight and then stepped inside and started raining those punches. And, and the fight is clearly in the balance here with two rounds to go. Bo is slow, really slow off his tie, off his, off his chair. Round number 11 for the World Heavyweight Championship at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Bruce, Holyfield coming off a big 10th round. Bruce, the crown is very unsteady on Riddick Bowe's head right now. It's there for the taking if Evander can just follow the game plan. But remember, it's very tough to win a decision over a defending heavyweight champion. So true. You know, Bruce, you, you, you talked about Evander and, and, and what a talent he is. Can we be looking at a, at a, at a Bo Holyfield three? Well, you, you, you'd is, have to think so if... Uh, you have to think so based on what happened. It wasn't a real pure fight. You know, momentum was thrown out the window. And I don't think any fan in the world wouldn't mind seeing it again because it's competitive. No, absolutely. There's two guys around, let them fight. I mean, Bo said he wanted somebody that could, could stamp greatness on him. We have to wait for Tyson. Well, maybe this is his Frazier. Maybe this is his Tyson. This is a guy he needs for both of them to just go to that next level of all-time great heavyweights. A little bit of resting here in round 11. When it breaks out, though, the fury at some point in the remainder of this fight is going to be big. You get that feeling. Holyfield landing a right hand. You would think that Bo's 246 pounds would be doing the damage, but it's Evander who's quicker and landing. His punches are finding the target better than Bo's. Short uppercut by Bo, and he missed it. His punches don't have the same velocity, and they don't have the same power. It seems that the, that the, the 217 that Evander has is a different 217 than he had when he, when he fought Alex Stewart, when he was sluggish. It seems like the, the weight training or the, has, has put the weight in the right parts of his body, which he can utilize as far as power is concerned. So Bo, who's 11 pounds heavier than he was for the first fight with Holyfield, I don't think those are good pounds, whereas Holyfield's additional 12 seems to be very positive. 40 seconds to go in the 11th round. There's still a cut in, 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 in Holyfield's body. Well, there's no doubt about it. Big 30 seconds here. Holyfield landing again. 
Several times Holyfield has staggered Bo in this fight. You know what? No, no matter what happens, Evander Holyfield is a great, great fighter. Holyfield, a combination. Still going at Bo. And no, no return from Bo. I'll tell you, Holyfield just turned another round. I don't think anyone can dispute it. Keep in mind how difficult it is to win a decision over a defending champion, especially a world heavyweight champion. It does not happen often. And you can fight him just the way you fight him, and coach. Riddick Bo just watched Evander Holyfield and wound up getting tagged for it. Bo hit him from the outside. Evander hit him from the outside and then steps in and works the body, works the head. Three minutes of boxing left. Holy, 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 holy. Holy field winning, I would think, 10 and 11. No crowd. The crowd has been chanting holy, holy for about two and a half rounds. And it's all in the balance here. Bo and Holyfield. Following a bizarre 21-minute delay. They're back and rolling. Real low, low blow. blow. Low blow by Bo and Holyfield tried to cover up. Bo's got him backing up. Bo is trying to keep his title. He knows he has to fight for three rounds. He cannot let Evander Holyfield steal it from him. Think about it. One round for the heavyweight championship of the world. I think if Bo wins this round, he's safe. I think you're right. Right hand landed by Bo. Two minutes to go. Holyfield to short jab. Good short uppercut by Holyfield. These guys are a lot more evenly matched than I thought. Bo just has to keep throwing punches. Holyfield has to figure out a way how to get inside and then work the body in the head. Crowd is definitely behind Holyfield. Holyfield scoring with a big right hand. And Bo responds, mouthpiece almost coming out. Bo's trying to break free. I think he, th he thinks he hurt Holyfield. But how can you tell if you hurt a brick wall? A minute 20 to go. 80 seconds of boxing. Running from lane to Bo to keep the punches up. In this fight. Mouthpiece has dropped. That's Evander's. That's Holyfield's. Bo charges in and lands with the right hand. And a chopping left. And another right hand. Holyfield looking a little wobbly right now. No response yet. Bo working on Evander. Holyfield looks a little bit hurt for the first time. Here comes Evander. Time out now. Mills Lane calls a time with 30 seconds unofficially. 30 seconds unofficially left. Here we go. Now Peace is back. Final 30 seconds of the fight. Oh, breathing a little heavy. A bizarre fight in Las Vegas. Holyfield landing a right hand. 15 seconds to go. Ten seconds to go. Everything's still on the line. The crowd rises. And that is it. They're still fighting. And Holy shit landed a left against Bo. Over the Holy field is knocked lane. down. Holy field was tackled by Emmanuel Stewart. I believe Holy field was tackled by his trainer. They finally separated the fighters. And it is over. Or is it? Bruce, I think we're safe in saying this is the strangest heavyweight championship fight of all time. I think strange, bizarre, the words not certainly the best.
No, no, with this competitive, dangerous, dangerous. I don't understand what happened there at the end where Holyfield was actually tackled. Here, here's a look at what happened. 12th round action. Fight will eventually end. Watch now. Bo still chopping away. Mouthpiece almost Trying coming out again. Loose. There's more 12th round action. Good right hand by Holyfield. Holyfield, he fouled the game plan to the tee. Now here, here's the end of the round. Now I've never seen a fight end like this. The fight is right. over, That's fight is it. over. Now watch what happens. Holyfield lands a big left there. Mills Lane tries to separate him. Bo comes after him. And watch this. Manuel Stewart, I think he tackles him. He, he tackles Holyfield. <laughs> He tripped over the photographer as well. And Manny was just trying to hold him back, but <laughs> unbelievable. So now it's up to the judges. Bruce, I have Bo ahead by one point, 114, 113. And I have Bo ahead seven yards to five. Two points. Bizarre, Bruce. That's the only Ladies way to put this here even. Here's match. Michael Buffer. Chuck Janepa scores the belt. 114. 114. He has it even. Patricia Jarman scores the belt. 115 to 114. Jerry Roth scores it. 115 to 113 for the winner by majority decision. And once again, heavyweight. in the history of the sport to win after he had lost to the same fighter. Holyfield wins by majority decision. Unbelievable show. It definitely warrants a Bo Holyfield three now. Without question, without question. Most of all, you saw a great heavyweight fighter Let's have the fight. Lee Fire and Holy Bale.